20 seconds. Welcome back to SOAR. I know we're at your favorite part of the show, mine too, because we're at the Ask the Coach segment. So now I'm gonna answer a question that was sent to me. As a life coach, I get lots of questions from people who are trying to get to the next level, reach a goal or get unstuck. So this question was asked of me. So what this person wanted to know, they said, some of my friends are still hanging out, going to parties, not social distancing, not wearing masks, and acting like there's no pandemic. And I'm getting really pissed, out, pissed at them for their behavior because I feel like it's making things worse. Should I confront my friends about this or just be mad and not say anything for the sake of keeping peace in the friendship? Well, this is a great question. I'm sure a lot of us might be in this same predicament. You feel this anger just kind of growing inside of you because you see your friend making bad decisions that might ultimately affect you as well. This can also happen even when there's not a pandemic and you see your friend making reckless choices and you have to decide, do I say something and come off as being judgmental or do I just keep the peace? So in answering this question, I have three responses. And my first response would be, how do you define friendship? If this person is truly your friend, you should be able to be honest with them and truly express how you feel. Keeping something bottled up is not an authentic way to have a friendship. Some of us have done it. I'm sure all of us have done it at one point or another, but it kind of eats away at your soul. The second thing that I would say is the delivery makes a difference. Letting your friend know that you are concerned about their well-being. You don't want them to get sick and you definitely don't want someone that they care about in a high-risk category to get sick. Makes a difference. So if you approach them with empathy and compassion and love and say it in a way that they can relate to, that makes a huge difference. And the third thing that I would say would be to ask some questions to see how your friend is doing. Are they lonely? Are they feeling depressed or sad? And that's why they're going out and maybe drowning their sorrows in alcohol. Do they understand or not understand what the crisis is really about? There's been so much conflicting information in the news. You know, a lot of people really don't understand. And figure out how can you support them? What are some alternative forms of socialization that you can suggest? Is there a uh, something that you can suggest that you know that they enjoy that doesn't involve going out and being in crowds. And just be the friend that you've always been to them. So try not to judge them too harshly. Give them a little bit of grace, but definitely speak your mind and, and be authentic and, and watch how you deliver the information that you want to give. So now we're going to go back to the rest of our show at SOAR, but first we're going to have a song. 